What's going on everyone and welcome to the Stock Trends channel. So today we're talking about ticker symbol SNDL Sundial Growers, a very, very hot stock obviously as of late, a lot of talk about this stock and a lot of questions. Um, but when we're gonna dive into this stock, I know it's been hit pretty hard. And take a look at the chart really quick. Got hit pretty hard with the overall market and, and with a lot of other small caps or you know penny stocks and stuff like that that did take some significant dips yesterday, the day prior. Uh, this stock has come down. However, today we're up nearly 10% when we're filming this video. So we're gonna be talking about the potential of a reversal. We'll talk about what these lines mean and things like that here in this video. And of course, what they have going on behind the scenes, which I think people need to be aware of just so that they're ready when something happens, if it does. So we're going to dive into what that could be. But if you guys wouldn't mind making sure you're jumping down, subscribing to the channel and hitting that thumbs up button, I really appreciate it. So here we go. SNDL latest press release was yesterday at night. And here it was. It was this right here, which we talked about in a prior video. But this strategic investment has now been closed of $22 million. And so what it was, was SNDL uh, bought 25 million shares at 44 cents of in diva hopefully i'm pronouncing that correctly uh, and so they bought 25 million shares at 44 cents per share so this raised gross proceeds of 11 million and a secured non-revolving term loan to Indiva in the principal amount of 11 million, where Sundial was the sole subscriber in the placement and sole lender of the term loan. This has a 9% interest rate and 50% of that accrued interest is payable in cash on the last day of each month with the remaining 50% accrued interest payable uh, at the option of Indiva in cash the last day of the month or on the maturity date. That's some of the details as to what is going on behind the scenes. That's just their deal that they have going on here. But a lot of people always want to know about what's going to happen with the stock price, obviously, and we don't know what's going to happen, but we can use what is going on behind the scenes here, what's going on in the sector, right, to give us some hints and use some technical analysis, which we love to do here on the channel to give us hints as to where the stock may be headed. So some areas to watch going forward. Um, we're looking right now at finviz.com. We can see the share float of 436 million. One of the things you do have to be careful of here with SNDL is this bad boy right here looking at the SEC filings on bamsec.com. This $1 billion shelf offering that was filed on the 16th of February. So just be careful of that because what does that mean? That means that Sundial could drop an offering um, pretty much whenever they want here. Now they have that shelf on file. So it doesn't mean that they have done one at least from that shelf offering, but now they have the ability to do so. So that's one of the concerns I think a lot of people may be overlooking in terms of an offering. Now, why would that be a concern? Well, we've seen in the past, right? We had offerings on SNDL and the stock price, you know, fell pretty significantly uh, to the order of 20% plus um, in many cases. So if you are someone who is buying SNDL, yeah, relatively speaking, compared to where it was trading at not too long ago, yeah, you're getting it at a decent dip. And it seems like we're finding support here down in the low ones. And we'll talk about what the support line is right here. We'll talk about that in a second, but you may look at a decent deal here. However, if SNDL wants to go raise some more capital to make some more investments like they kind of did in the news we just talked about, well, they may actually look to do an offering. And so just be careful of that and understand that going in. As long as you know that, you're going to be much more prepared for if it does happen and you're going to at least have a plan in place on what you're planning on doing if that does occur. 50 SMA sitting down here towards about 93 cents. Um, why is that important? Well, that could be a decent area of support. If we look back to the left, this blue line, SNDL has bounced off this blue line a couple times over the past couple of months. And so that's been holding up as support. So if we do come back and test that line, I would not be surprised if SNDL does find that area to be a support level with an offering or a bounce, or if we do see some more downside, that's one area to watch as well. This is going to be coming up as time moves on, obviously, as SNDL has been pushing up as of late. Now, this line right here at this 135 is very, very important because that was a prior area of resistance. Now, I give yesterday um, half weight in a sense. Now, yesterday was a very weird day because a lot of stocks plummeted down crazy amounts um, for seemingly no reason other than just kind of a reset or somewhat of a correction, right? And that's a good thing because a lot of stocks were overextended. However, it did bleed into, you know, many stocks. And so people freaked out as to, you know, what do we do here? Like, you know, do I buy this? Is it going to keep going? Because, you know, what's to say that this can't keep, you know, what's to say this doesn't keep selling off or what's to say the overall market doesn't keep selling off? No one knows, right? Obviously, you know, if we knew, right, we'd be able to predict what's going to happen and we'd be, you know, rich and we'd be able to make as much money as we wanted to, right? However, I would give that more of a half weight. We do have a dip down towards this 110 area. So that's an area to watch. It kind of lines up. If we kind of line this up, 
The dip here lines up with the areas of support we saw back at the beginning of February. So at the beginning of the month, we saw dips down to 110 after it hit up to 135. This lines at 135 because we have prior highs up around 135. Now we're back over 135 at least for right now, up 10% for the day so far. And so if SNDL can reclaim this 135 and close above this level and then open tomorrow above this level, that would be a pretty good bullish sign in my opinion for a move to the upside. Now where are we looking to the upside? Well, I would be watching SNDL to make a shot up towards this 170. Every 25 cents is going to be a pretty significant area, so I wouldn't be surprised if 150, there's some resistance there. And then if SNDL gets over 150, 175 would be the next target there for SNDL. However, you know, with SNDL, let's take a look at some of the leaders in the pack here that, you know, lead the space. And, you know, where are they kind of lining up as of right now to give us some more hints to the overall cannabis sector? Look at Tilray, a stock that has a very similar pattern. Tilray pulled back down to about $21 yesterday and then pushing up here now over 26 today, up 5% from yesterday's close. And Tilray, very, very similar chart set up to SNDL, has some potential range to the upside if it wants to get going. However, the volatility and the volume, look at these volume bars on the bottom, just has not been there from what we've seen in past runs on Tilray. So until we see that volume really coming into a lot of these cannabis names, the movements are not going to be nearly as volatile as they were in weeks past. Just something to note. Now, CGC is one other stock to watch as well. Uh, Canopy Growth. This company, I believe, filed an F3, filed a shelf offering yesterday as well. But however, CGC is very interesting because CGC has been sitting right at this 50 SMA and bouncing pretty well. Look back to uh, the end of uh, 2020. Uh, CGC bounced off the 50 SMA, pushing up, hitting highs of 56. Now it's back down to 35, but it's back at this 50 SMA, looking for another bounce potentially off the 50 SMA, which I would imagine brings up a lot of other stocks with it. Tilray, we're looking at SNDL again. Those stocks will probably come with the sector if we see those balances continue on the bigger names. So SNDL is definitely a stock to watch. However, make sure you understand the offering. Make sure you understand kind of what we're sitting at right here. I would imagine this stock, if it does have some downside down towards 110 is support, down towards $1, and then down towards the 50 SMA are support areas to watch. And then price targets, $175, $2, $225. And obviously we can go from there after that as things kind of push up and as things continue. So we'll see what happens. It should be a very interesting next couple of days watching a lot of these cannabis stocks. They have been beat down pretty hard, pretty fast. So we'll see. They made their runs up pretty quick, but look at the backside of this trade coming down very, very hard as well. So just understand that that is always the downside we have on a lot of these stocks after big runs. But right now you're getting a much better deal than if you were looking to buy this stock back up over $2.50. So hopefully this video was helpful in some way, shape, or form. Please make sure you're jumping down, subscribing to the channel, hitting that thumbs up button, and check out my main channel. There's a link down below in the description box for my main channel. Check out that channel. We talk about a lot of stocks. We talk about a lot of strategy over there on that channel hoping to help you guys with some free information. Don't forget to grab your two free stocks with Weeble when you sign up and deposit 100 bucks. That's this platform we're using right here. And any other links and resources are linked down below in the description box as always. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.